Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Ian. Mm. Second cup of coffee. I feel a little wide right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've been having a little bit of coffee. I don't know. I only drink coffee on Fridays and Saturdays these days, but I always find it gets me really, really energized and like the most, like I'm almost hyperactive when I drink coffee these days. I told my student that the other day when I was teaching him, he was like, I'm like, yeah, I've had coffee today. I've had like, you know, three or four cups a day. So I kind of feel kind of like I'm kind of hyperactive, like, like, you know, on the, just the, the top end of the peak sort of thing. So anyways, so it has been an interesting week. Um, last couple of weeks have been kind of very interesting for me in my personal life, at least. Um, big news, I suppose. So I got a new job. Uh, strange enough, it's working at John Deere. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I wouldn't be able to get it without uh, you guys. I just want to say thank you very much for all your support. I really appreciate every one of you guys. Um, it really means a lot to me that uh, a lot of you have been around for the channel with the channel for a long time now, um, which I really appreciate. And it's like it's um, it's through like a lot of your support and uh, you know encouragement and whatnot for a variety of things that's really been uh, really made it possible for me to get this job to a certain degree at least so thank you very much so like a couple people that kind of that kind of jump out of me um that been around for a long time like craft farms for example like he was around like right from the beginning i think um he's been around for ages same with spud he's been around for ages now too so um thanks to all my patrons as well really appreciate you guys um it really means a lot to me, so. Yeah, so that's kind of a, the biggest news in my life. So that's gonna be kind of crazy. So what that means for me is uh, I'll be actually moving back to my uh, hometown, um, close to Toronto area, uh, which is gonna be kind of interesting because it'll be more country than city these days because right now I live in the, one of the big cities in Ontario here and uh, I'll be moving back to the Toronto area and working for John Deere, which would be kind of fun, actually. It'll be uh, a, a really different from what I'm doing right now uh, because I teach right now. I teach English as a second language right now, for those who don't know. And um, I don't teach in a school. I teach pri uh, It's a private school that I teach for, uh, so it is uh, with adults. So, And I'll be working for John Deere doing, uh, doing that, basically. So it'll be a, a big, big change for me uh, in my life, uh, which I think I was kind of ready for anyway. So. It'll be a, a big, ch no, maybe not, I don't know. It'll be a challenge. I'm not sure how big the challenge will actually be, but it'll be a challenge for sure. So it'll be kind of crazy. And uh, because of that, I had to do like a whole bunch of random things like moving back, finding apartments. I actually, I don't, I don't own a car right now. So I actually had to buy a car because where I'm moving to doesn't really have uh, public transport there. So it kind of uh, <laughs> was an interesting uh, thing to do to shop for a car. So I've actually purchased a car. It is a um, <laughs> it's a station wagon, essentially, um, which is really funny because I always thought my first car was going to be something a bit more fun than that. But I went more. Uh, I think the reason why I went for like a station wagon was because if I uh, if I were younger, I might have gone for something you know faster or something a bit uh, more interesting to drive. But in my old age, old age, I say. Um, I went for something much more practical, so I went with a wagon. And there's actually here's a couple of reasons why. A, my fishing rods will be able to fit fit into the back of it, so a full like a one piece fishing rod will be able to fit into it, no problem. And two, I can actually put the seats down and it turns into like a van almost, which is nice for like moving stuff. I test drove one uh, the other day, excuse me, and it actually had four winter tires in the back, and it was like the seats weren't even down. That was just that was just the trunk space itself, so or the boot, depending where you're from in the world. So it was kind of funny to, uh, to see that. So I went, that was my first car is going to be a, it's going to be like a wagon essentially. So it is uh, kind of funny. It's not a Subaru uh, wagon, but that would have been kind of neat, but it's like a Kia. So, so I had to buy a car, which was kind of funny. I would have liked to have got a truck, but I really don't have a need for a truck. I told my wife maybe I would get like an F-150 down the road as like a something to work on. She was like, don't, well, why do you need a truck? I'm like, well, for my fishing boat, obviously. And she's like, when are you gonna have time for fishing with a new job? I'm like, well, we'll figure that out. One step at a time. So that's kind of, uh, <laughs> that's been kind of the funny thing actually, so. <laughs> yeah, so that is kind of the big news for me. Uh, so what that means for the channel, this is what, I'm not sure. Um, I'll still be making videos, don't worry about that. I just don't know how about how about the frequency because I'll be living with my dad for a bit because uh, he's in that area already. And um, 
uh, because I'll be starting a new job, there may be like uh, a little bit more infrequent videos at the start, like maybe like, you know, three times a week or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes uh, because I have no idea uh, what my schedule is going to be like. I know when I start work and I know what time I normally wake up at, so it shouldn't be a problem to make a video every day. But uh, I have not uh, tested this theory yet, so it's going to be interesting. So for sure, I'll do coffee with Ian every week still. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving in Canada. So I, there will be no live stream, uh, FYI, but I'll still make a coffee with Ian uh, for Saturday. That will be interesting because um, there'll be some moving involved next weekend as well. Um, I actually will pick up the new car. Well, new car, it's like 2007, so it's not that new uh, next weekend as well. So yeah, I don't know how that's gonna affect the schedule. It shouldn't affect it that much to be honest with you, but I really have no idea because uh, I don't know what kind of toll this new job's gonna take on my uh, <laughs> myself basically uh, because I'm basically going from like government hours to like farmers hours uh, so it's like you know working like 37.5 hours a week in the government and then going to like you know 40 50 hours a week working with farmers and whatnot so that'll be a big change for me I did not uh, won't have the uh, all the uh, the vacation time I had before but it'll be good because it has like you know a lot of uh, perks for me and my family basically so like you know being closer to family is gonna be really awesome as well so and the area I'll be moving to has lots of fishing spots too so that's a plus and I'll have a car to be able to get to those places so that's gonna be uh, pretty awesome I'm pretty excited about that <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys when I have the time to do that kind of stuff at least so uh, where I'll be working is uh, it's close to a couple lakes anyway so maybe when I go to there to work or probably come back from work I might stop and do a little bit of fishing but not for very long can considering the time I actually finish uh, fish, uh, finish work uh, in the evening. So that'll be kind of uh, kind of crazy. So yeah, um, that's what will be my life. So I don't know, like, I'm not sure what the, how the schedule is gonna change. It shouldn't change uh, at all um, based on my persistent <laughs> level of persistence uh, and determination, I suppose. But uh, it may kind of go in a little, a little wonky for a bit just because uh, I think my dad has a decent, decent enough connection at least. Uh, but I'll have to be a bit more proactive. Won't be able to record a video in the morning and post it the same day because his internet's not that fast. But uh, in the future, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I actually looked at a couple places to move into. Uh, I looked at a farmhouse that so was really pretty nice, actually. It had like its own. It was you know set off from the highway. You know, it had its own wood lot I could use. I would have been renting, not buying. Buying in that area is just way too expensive. But anyways, um, one of the drawbacks, like I looked at the place, I'm like, oh, looks kind of nice. You know, got a couple nice rooms. This is good. And then I'm like, okay, let me just double check to see what the internet situation is like. And I'm like, there's no internet there at all. I'm like, well, that one's out sort of thing. So that's uh, kind of what I had to do. Uh, kind of what I have to kind of look at when I look at places like, okay, what's the internet situation like? Is it good? Is it bad? So it's kind of bizarre uh, when you consider the internet is an important factor when producing a house. Well, at least in that area, because like, you know, if you buy in the city, it's not going to be a problem. But if you buy like, you know, in the country, then... You're like, you're gonna get satellite internet and like, you can have internet, satellite internet, it's, it's okay. But if you're uploading or downloading a lot, it's, don't even think about it. Like I looked at some of the plans for a satellite internet. I'm like, okay, I'm like, what do we got here? I'm like 80 gigabytes, you know, that's not too bad. I'm like, you know, a download speed of like five or 10. I'm like, okay, like upload speed, like one, I'm like $80. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> Shut the front door. They would say my university back in the day. Oh, but anyways, that's what that's what I kind of looked at. So it was kind of bizarre to look at those types of things. But it's you know when you um, when you do YouTube and you really like what you do on YouTube and you have a lot of fun and you have a lot of uh, support and you just enjoy it a lot. You don't want to stop doing it. So it's an important factor in pur and purchasing and like looking at places and whatnot. So yeah, that was kind of a, an interesting thing to consider. Uh, in terms of video games, um, I've been playing a lot of the Hunter Call of the Wild. I don't know why, but I had like an itch not too long ago and I was like, hmm, I wanna play the Hunter. And like ever since then, it's like bam, 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 like every day, but like playing like, you know, for like you know, half an hour, an hour, depending on how much time I have. And uh, I started using the shotguns in the game and now that I've got an idea of how the shotguns work a bit better, uh, I have become more proficient with them, which is kind of neat. Uh, because before I'm like, I'm like, oh, they're like, you know, 50 meters away. That's the range of the shotgun, right? Like I can do that and I'm like, Pfft. Don't even try. It's not even worth it. Um, at close range, like you know, like well, under 15 meters, you know, that's where you're gonna get a, a good hit on a on a deer. 
with the shotgun. I haven't I haven't leveled them up very much to get the slugs, but oh, with the uh, the buckshot, it's not so bad at close range at least. And I've been finally I finally leveled up a little bit, and I was able to get the bear collar finally. Tried that out this morning, and it was actually pretty effective. More effective than I thought it was going to be actually. And then I also got the red deer collar, I guess it was. Yeah, I think it's that one I got. So finally able to do use both of those now, so that's kind of neat. But I've been doing a little bit of uh, multiplayer on that. It's kind of fun. It's fun. I find the multiplayer is kind of weird because you don't really, so far, at least my experience, but you don't really work together so much in the multiplayer in Call of the Wild, the Hunter Call of the Wild, because you end up kind of like, if, if, depending on what you're going for. If you're going for bison, then you, can't, you work more together. Or if you're going for elk, you work a bit more together. But I often find that what happens is people kind of like, you know, go away and do their own thing a little bit, but you're still in the same game sort of thing. So it's been interesting to see how it works. It's a lot different than farm sim. Farm seems like co-op, you know, like you're working together the whole time sort of thing. But sometimes you still end up doing your own thing and, you know, harvesting a field or, you know, cutting grass or whatever by yourself. So it's kind of like that sometimes. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a, that's what I've been doing a lot lately. I don't know why, but I've just been, it's, I've gotten back into the game. Like, I don't know, in the last week, I probably put, you know, seven or eight hours into it, which isn't very much, honestly, but if I had more time, I can. Uh, you could probably spend a whole day just playing that game because it's one of those games where you just kind of explore the environment, you know, walk around. I'm like, oh look, there's a deer off in the distance. Let's walk towards that, and then you spend like you know the next hour finding stuff as you're heading towards that direction. That's what I, I happens to me at last, at least. Uh, so far, my favorite weapon in the game is still the bow. I still prefer that over everything else. Uh, I don't know why, but it, it's my favorite by far. Uh, the shotgun, I get. I I understand. It's it's like the bow a little bit because you have to get really close range, but the bow still, I find it more stealthy, even though it scares animals away just as much as a shotgun would, so. I don't know, but you can recover arrows too, which is kind of neat in that, so. Anyways, in order to keep this uh, coffee within, oh, 12 minutes, uh, shorter, or like within the 10, 15 minute bracket, I'm gonna stop there, because I feel like I could ramble a lot right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. So anyways, thanks again for all your help. I uh, really appreciate that, you guys rock, and uh, until next time, enjoy the coffee. Mm. That was like a gulp. <laughs>